come near and answer my questions. On the 7th of this July, the railway watchman, Ivan Semyonovich Akinfov, going along the line in the morning, found you at the 141st mile, engaged in unscrewing a nut by which the rails are made fast to the sleepers. Here it is, the nut. With the aforesaid nut, he detained you. Was that so? What? Was this all an Akinfov states? To be sure it was. Very good. Well, what were you unscrewing that nut for? What? Drop that what and answer the question. What were you unscrewing that nut for? If I hadn't wanted it, then I shouldn't have unscrewed it. What did you want that nut for? The nut? We make weights out of those for our lines. Who is we? We, um, people, the Klimovo peasants, that is. Listen, my man, don't play the idiot to me, but speak sensibly. It's no use telling lies here about weights. I've never been a liar from a child, and now I'm telling lies. But can you do without a weight, Your Honor? If you put live bait or maggots on a hook, would it go to the bottom without a weight? I'm telling lies. What the devil is the use of the worm if it swims on the surface? The perch and the pike and the eel pout always go to the bottom, and a bait on the surface is only taken by a shell spur. Not very often then, and there are no shell spurs in our river. That fish likes plenty of room. Why are you telling me about shell spurs? What? Why, you ask me yourself. The gentry catch fish that way too in our parts. The silliest little boy would not try to catch a fish without a weight. Of course, anyone who didn't understand might try to go to the fish without a weight. There's no rule for a fool. So you say you unscrewed this nut to make a weight for your fishing line out of it. Well, what else for? It wasn't to play knuckle bones with. But you may have taken lead, a bullet, a nail of some sort. You don't pick up lead in the road. You have to buy it, and a nail's no good. You can't find anything better than a nut. It's heavy, and there's a hole in it. He's pretending to be a fool, as though he'd been born yesterday or dropped from heaven. Don't you understand, you blockhead, what unscrewing these nuts lead to? If the watchman had not noticed, the train might have run off the rails. People would have been killed. You would have killed people. God forbid, Your Honor, what should I kill them for? Are we heathens or wicked people? Thank God, good gentlemen, we have lived all our lives without dreaming of such a thing. What are you saying? And what do you suppose railway accidents do come from? Unscrew two or three nuts and you have an accident. Why, how many years have we all in the village been unscrewing nuts? And the Lord has been merciful, and you talk of accidents, killing people. If I'd carried away a rail or put a log across the line, say, maybe it might have upset the train, but phew, not. But you must understand that the nut holds the rail fast to the sleepers. We understand that. We don't unscrew them all, we leave some. We don't do it thoughtlessly. We understand. Oh. Last year, the train went off the rails here. Now I see why. What do you say, Your Honor? I'm telling you now, I see why the train went off the rails last year. Yeah. I understand. That's what you're educated people for, to understand you, kind gentlemen. The Lord knows whom to give understanding. Here you've reasoned how and what, but the watchman peasant like ourselves, with no understanding at all, catches one by the collar and hauls one along. You should reason first and then haul me off. It's a saying that a peasant has a peasant's wit. Write down too, Your Honor, that he hit me twice, in the jaw and in the chest. When your hut was searched, they found another nut. At what spot did you unscrew that, and when? You mean the nut which lay under the red box? I don't know where it was lying. Only it was found. When did you unscrew it? I didn't unscrew it. Ignashka, the son of one-eyed Semyon, gave it to me. I mean the one which was under the box, but the one which was in the sledge in the yard, Mitrofan and I unscrewed together. What Mitrofan? Mitrofan Petrov. Haven't you heard of him? He makes nets in our village and sells them to the gentry. He needs a lot of those nuts. Reckon a matter of ten for each net. Listen, Article 1081 of the Penal Code lays down that every willful damage of the railway line committed 
when it can expose the traffic on that line to danger and the guilty party knows that an accident must be caused by it is liable to penal servitude. Do you understand? Knows. And you could not help knowing what this unscrewing would lead to. Of course, you know best. What do we understand after all? We're ignorant people. You understand all about it! You were lying! Shamming! What should I lie for? Ask in the village if you don't believe me. Only a bleak is caught without a weight, and there is no fish worse than a gudgeon. Yet even that won't bite without a weight. You better tell me about the shellless spurs next. There are no shellless spurs in our parts. We cast our line on top of the water without a weight, with a butterfly. A mullet may be caught that way, though that is not very often. Hold your tongue. Can I go? No. I must take you under guard and send you to prison. How, how do you mean to prison? Your Honor, I have no time to spare. I must go to the fair. I must get three rubles from Jaeger for some tallow. Hold your tongue. Don't interrupt. To prison? If there was something to go for, I'd go, but just to go for nothing? What for? I haven't stolen anything, I believe, and I've not been fighting. If you're in any doubt about the specifics, Your Honor, don't believe the Elder. You ask the agent. He's a regular heathen, the Elder, you know. Hold your tongue. I'm holding my tongue as it is, but that the Elder is lied over the account, I'll take my oath for it. There are three of us brothers. Kuzma Grigoryev, then Yegor Grigoryev, and me, Denis Grigoryev. You're hindering me. Hey, Simeon, take him away. There are three of us brothers. Brother is not responsible for a brother. His ma does not pay, so you, Dennis, must answer for it. Judges indeed. Your master, the general, is dead. The kingdom of heaven be his, or he would have shown you judges. You ought to judge sensibly and not at random. Flog if you like, but flog someone who deserves it. Flog with conscience.